Hello and welcome to the tutorial on number bonds to 50. Number bonds to 50. Now if you recall in one of the earlier tutorials we did number bonds to 10. We're going to do that again and if you recall we drew some numbers on the left hand side. We had 0 to 5 going from top to bottom and then we had 5 to 10 going from bottom to top and they were arranged in two neat columns just like that and then we put a circle around each matching pair there we go 0 and 10 1 and 9 2 and 8 3 and 7 4 and 6 5 and 5 and what did we notice about them they all equal 10 those are the number bonds for 10. We're now going to do number bonds to 50. Now the best way to start is let's look at an example. Now suppose we have this number 27 plus something equals 50. So we have to know which number added to 27 it is an add question which number added to 27 gives 50 okay so how do we work this out well we start by looking at the first number 27 now this first this digit the unit let's start on the right hand side which is a 7 that's a unit has to go to 0 okay now if we're adding the only way it can go to 0 is if we add a number to 7 to get it to 0 or more importantly to get it to 10 okay so let's assume that 7 if we look at 7 and which number added to 7 is going to give us 10 it's over here it's 3 okay so if we add 3 what happens 7 plus 3 gives us 10. 2 plus 1, this is the 10s now, 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So we've got the 3 and we can write that down. So that's the unit part done. We now have to get the 10s to 50. Now we no longer have 2 because 2 became 3 when we added when we went to the number bond 10. We now have to get the 3 to go to a 5. Now what number added to 3 gives 5? Well, that's a nice easy one. 3, count them, 4, 5. It's 2. So we put 2 over here. And 27 plus 23 gives 50. Now did you see how we worked through that? We started at the units made the 7 become a 0 and then we worked on the 10s which was no longer 2 it was a 3 and then we made it a 5 okay if you didn't get that don't worry we're gonna work on a second example this time we've got missing number at the beginning plus 34 so what number added to 34 and it is an add question gives 50 now the same principle applies we start and I'm just going to change colors back to the same one we're going to start with the units this is a 4 Now notice that the 4 has to become a 0 so we're adding so we have to add for the 4 to become a 0 look at our chart on the left which number added to 4 is going to give us a 0 or more importantly 10 here it is it is 6 so we add the 6 and guess what happens 4 plus 6 gives us 10 3 plus 1 the tens gives us 4 so this 6 can go over here okay that's the first part now the second part is the tens now don't forget we no longer have three tens we when we added the six it became four tens we now have to get the four 
2 of 5. How does 4 become 5? Add 1. And that is the answer. 16 plus 34 equals 50. Okay. There's more than one way to do this, but if you practice this method, you'll be able to move on to the different methods at a later date. So that is number bonds to 50 when we are doing addition.